hi guys welcome back i hope you're all well so today's video is a macrame rainbow diy i'm just going to talk you through the process here so basically i've got some rope and some yarn and i'm laying it out here now the rope in the shape of a rainbow basically uh, before you do any cutting just make sure you've got your, your rainbow laid out and then you can go ahead and cut up the sides like you can see here and then we can measure where we need to put our yarn so use a ruler and a pen or a pencil and just mark a straight line across so we can keep pretty much um a nice guide there and then you can just start wrapping so i'm starting with red i'm going to go from one mark and wrap round just tie it at the at the end you can you can cover up the loose tail as you're wrapping and wrap 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 up <clears throat> until we get to the end and then once you get to the end again you can just tie a knot i kind of over over complicated this um it is literally just tying a knot but basically you just loop loop it over like that and then put the end through the loop but it is essentially just tying a knot and i do a few of those and then again you can either just cut cut the end off or you can try and tuck it in but you can just cut it off you're not going to see these and then i do the same with the rest so you'll see a little bit of the orange and then i do the rest off camera so that's basically how easy it is and then we're just going to stick it together so I used a glue gun, you can sew it as well. Um, the glue gun did cause it to be a bit messy. But I mean, this one I'm doing here now was quite messy. But as I got to the end of it, I kind of figured out a better way to do it. So you'll see that in a second and I advise you do it that way. So instead of picking the whole thing up and putting glue all over it, um, just keep it laid down on your surface. You'll see in a second. I think I'll start with the yellow one um i'll start doing it a bit better yeah so keep it laid down like that and then you can just kind of string a piece of glue along and then attach it just like that it's a lot simpler than messing about picking it up and getting glue everywhere so there we go <clears throat> and then once that's done you can start fraying the ends of your rope now i used a polyester rope everything i used you can get at hobbycraft but you can also use like a cotton rope, which might, well, it gives a different look. I won't say it's better, it just gives a different look. So it gives a bit of a kind of softer look rather than this kind of straw like look. It just depends what you want, really. And I used a comb to kind of get, but you don't actually need the comb in the end because it kind of just pulls that bits out. So you can just, you can just unravel it. And then I go back back with my ruler and straighten up all the ends because obviously once they've been brushed out and, and unraveled they're going to be slightly different lengths and not as neat so cut those off trim them off give it a haircut and that's pretty much it so it's a really easy process and it looks really effective i'd say it took me two to three hours in all and that was with me messing about trying to film it so it's definitely a day project and just look how sweet it looks i mean this is a really colorful one i like the pastel ones personally but i thought i'd do a nice colorful one because it's like nhs kind of symbol and you can just glue go on your string on the back there add a bit of cardboard to keep it in place and there we go we've hung it up and that is a macrame rainbow so i hope you've enjoyed that and give it a try definitely super easy you don't use a whole lot of wool either so you could make loads with all that wool and yeah, I hope this has been helpful for you. So thanks guys, bye.